Hi friends, in this video we are going to see two wattmeter method in order to measure three phase power in different types of load. Logically speaking, I should require three wattmeters in order to measure power for three phase load. But this method will illustrate that only two wattmeters are sufficient in order to measure three phase power. So, we will start with the first type of load. Before that, let us list out how many types of loads we are going to deal with. So, first we are having star connected lagging power factor load. Lagging power factor load is nothing but an inductive load. Then we will be changing lagging power factor load to leading power factor load. But connection will be star only. Leading power factor is nothing but a capacitive load. Next, we will change star connection to delta connection. Once again, say inductive load. And finally, delta connected leading power factor load. We are going to see derivation for all the four types of loads. Let us start with the first that is star connected lagging power factor load. So, here we are considering that RYB three phase supply is there and that is feeding a star connected lagging power factor load. So, I have a wattmeter 1 which is connected in R phase, then I have second wattmeter. connected in Y phase. And B phase will be as it is. So, this is how wattmeter connections are made and this is connected to star connected lagging power factor load. So, here I am having a star connected load. This is R phase, Y phase and B phase. So, it is connected like this. The phase impedance is ZPH. It is a balanced three phase load. Let us mark all the quantities over here. So, this is R phase, Y phase, B phase. The voltage between two lines, here it is VRY, VYB and between B and R it is VBR. Same way 
current carrying by each line is the line current. So, this is I R I Y and I B. Let us go to the phase side as phase side this is called as a phase between R and N and the voltage across these two point V R N phase voltage between Y N V Y N another phase voltage and third voltage is V B N. Similarly, I will have a current I R N I Y N and I B N. Let us list out all this. So, V R Y V Y B V B R is V L line voltage. Then we have I R I Y I B I L line current. Then at phase side or load side I have V R N V Y N V B N as V P H phase voltage. And current I R N I Y N and I B N phase current I P H. And we have Z P H as phase impedance. So, wattmeters are connected like this. We call this as a wattmeter 1, and this wattmeter 2. Let us go to next step. Now, we have connected two wattmeters like this. Let us write out their readings. So, the next step is wattmeter readings. Let us discuss first wattmeter 1. Wattmeter 1 is connected such a way that its current coil will sense I R a line current for R. So, I will write over here current that is sensed by wattmeter 1 is I R. Similarly, if I see voltage coil it is between R and B, but you cannot take a V B R because current entering like this hence this is more positive compared to this. So, I need to consider V R B instead of V B R because of entering direction of current I R. So, the voltage sense by wattmeter 1 is V R B. If I know current and voltage, the wattmeter 1 reading will be V R B multiplied by I R multiplied by cosine of angle between V R B and I R. If I see properly V R Y, V Y B, V B R or I can take a V Y R, V B Y and V R B as line voltage and I R, I Y, I B as line current. So, what I will get over here 
W1 is nothing but VL IL, but here you cannot write VL and IL because here it is very much specific, it has to be an angle between VRB and IR. Let us do same analysis for wattmeter 2. Wattmeter 2 it is like this current coil of wattmeter 2 will sense I y and voltage coil will sense a voltage V y b. So, I will get wattmeter 2 reading V y b multiplied by I y multiplied by cos of angle between V y b and I y. V y b is nothing but V l and I y is nothing but I l. Both of them are line quantities. So, W 2 will be V l I l cos of angle between V y b and I y. So, these are the two watt meters reading I am getting. Now, only objective is we need to calculate angle between V r b and I r, V y b and I y. That angle we are going to calculate with the help of phasor diagram. So, angle calculation or you can say angle determination can be done using phasor diagram. This is the most important and crucial stage of a derivation. Let us draw a phasor diagram. So, we always start with a phase voltages. So, I will consider a phase voltages. I will start with a VRN. Lagging VRN by angle 120 degree, I have VYN. And leading VRN by 120 degree, I have third phasor, third phase voltage that is VBN. Load is lagging power factor or inductive in nature. What does that mean? Current lags voltage. Obviously, phase current lags phase voltage by angle phi. So, I will have phase currents like this. My objective is to get an angle between VRB and IR first. So, VRB is nothing but VRN minus VBN. So, VRN is like this, I should have minus VBN. So, equal and opposite to VBN, I will have minus VBN like this. And the phasor addition of VRN and minus VBN. will be V R B. Similarly, I should know what is the angle between V Y B and I Y. For that V Y B 
is nothing but v y n minus v b n. So, already we have minus v b n just phasor addition of v y n and minus v b n. will be v y b now v r n is a phase voltage similarly v b n or minus v b n is also a phase voltage v r b is a line voltage so obviously the angle between v p h and v l is 30 degree Similarly, over here, V y n is a phase voltage, V y b is a line voltage. So, angle between V y n and V y b is 30 degree. And for star connected load, I r n is same as I r. So, I can say I r n equal to I r because phase current equal to line current for star connected load. So, ultimately what I will get is this angle between V R B and I R is 30 minus 5 and angle between V Y B and I y is 30 plus 5. This is the most important outcome of the phasor diagram. So, now once I know the angle between voltage and current, I can write wattmeter 1 reading as V L I L cos 30 minus 5. 5. I will consider this as equation number 1 and W2 as VL IL cos 30 plus 5 equation number 2. Now, I am adding 1 and 2. I will get W1 plus W2 equal to V L I L I will take common in the bracket I get cos 30 minus 5 plus cos 30 plus 5. I am going to use a simple trigonometric formula of cos C plus cos D as 2 times cos C plus D upon 2 multiplied by cos C minus D upon 2. So, if I use this formula, I will get W1 plus W2 as VL IL 2 times cos 30 minus 5 plus 30 plus 5 upon 2 multiplied by cos 30 minus 5 minus 30 minus 5 by 2. So, after simplifying I will get 2 times V L I L cos 30 degree multiplied by cos minus 5 cos minus theta is same as cos theta and cos 30 is root 3 by 2. So, ultimately I will get W 1 plus W 2 as 2 times V L I L root 3 by 2 multiplied by cos 5. So, if I simplify I will get W 1 plus W 2 equal to root 3 V L I L cos 5. 
which is nothing but a total power consumed equal to P. So, what is the conclusion out of it? Addition of two watt meters readings will nothing but a power consumed in a three phase circuit. So, I will consider this as another equation. So, P equal to W1 plus W2, which is root 3 VL IL cos phi equation number 3. Now, I need to find out the power factor of the circuit by knowing two watt meter readings. For that purpose, I will do one more operation. I will subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So, it is W1 minus W2 equal to again VLIL is common in bracket I will get cos 30 minus 5 minus cos 30 plus 5. Here I am going to use a formula cos C minus cos D that will give me minus 2 sin C plus D by 2 into sin C minus D by 2. So, let us apply. So, I will get W 1 minus W 2 as V L I L in bracket minus 2 sin C plus D divided by 2 into sin C minus D divided by 2. So, if I simplify I will get W 1 minus W 2 equal to minus 2 V L I L sin 30 multiplied by sin minus 5. Sin 30 is 1 by 2 and sin minus 5 is minus sin 5. So, if I incorporate these values, I will get W 1 minus W 2 as 2 times V L I L multiplied by 1 by 2 multiplied by sin 5. 2 to get cancel, I will get one more equation W 1 minus W 2 equal to V L I L sin 5. I will consider this as equation number 4. What I will do? I will divide equation 4 by equation 3. So, W 1 minus W 2 divided by W 1 plus W 2 equal to V L I L sin phi divided by root 3 V L I L cos phi. V L I L get cancelled from both the sides and if I take a root 3 this side. Sin phi upon cos phi is tan phi and from this I will get phase angle phi as tan inverse of root 3 w 1 minus w 2 upon w 1 plus w 2. So, to get a phase angle of the load 2 watt meter readings are sufficient and it is related like this phi equal to tan inverse of root 3 multiplied by w 1 minus w 2 upon w 1 plus w 2. By knowing the phase angle phi, I can get a power factor which is nothing but cos phi. 
so ultimately power factor of the load is cos of tan inverse of root 3 w1 minus w2 upon w1 plus w2 so here we have seen for star connected lagging power factor load addition of two wattmeter readings is nothing but a three phase power and by knowing the wattmeters reading i can get phase angle phi thank you